Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. More widespread significant precipitation is moving through as I record this on Wednesday. It'll continue through early Friday. Additional Pacific storms are scheduled for Monday into early Tuesday and then again Wednesday of next week. So three storms on the horizon come through. All right, these are the highlights. Not a whole lot has changed. Precipitation is arriving now as I record this. Weak atmospheric river. The atmospheric river on Thursday is a little further south, uh, so some of the precipitation numbers are less. Uh, there remains an isolated thunderstorm chance. Uh, most of the precipitation will be widespread beneficial. This is a cold storm. Uh, so we do want to note that that uh, snow level is coming down significantly tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, rainfall, half inch to an inch for most of our coast and valleys. Uh, we're going to see one to two in our mountains, locally three. Uh, the highest rainfall rates will be around a quarter inch per hour. That's 0.25. Uh, locally, we could see up to a half inch, okay, um, which is heavy rain. But most of the threat for flash flooding is very low. Uh, snow level is also helping with our burn scars because this is a cold storm. We do expect big snowfall above 5,000 feet. Uh, just scattered precipitation and very cold start Friday morning. We could even see some flakes at 3,500 feet Friday morning. Dry for the weekend and milder. Next precipitation comes in on its heels on Monday, lingering into early Tuesday, and then another round by midweek Wednesday into early Thursday. We mentioned the rainfall um, for the San Diego valleys. That looks like the heaviest rain. Some places around an inch. Orange and San Diego coast, there'll be a big range from around a half inch to an inch. Now, remember, uh, our deficits are five, six inches of rain. And in San Diego, we've only seen about an inch and a half. So these totals uh, will be beneficial to the drought situation. Uh, one to two for our mountains. Not much rain for the deserts, unfortunately. The snow level will be the big story, cold storm. Snow levels down to 4,500 feet Wednesday evening and night. Uh, the coldest part of the storm is Thursday night, perhaps as low as 4,000 feet. Snow will occur up around 5,000 feet uh, with several inches to up to a foot um, in our mountain communities, such as Big Bear, uh, one to five inches above 4,000 feet. Uh, rainfall rates, uh, two rounds of precipitation. The highest rainfall rates, not continuous, not all the time, but the peaks will mainly be around a quarter of an inch uh, with locally up around a half inch uh, along the coastal slopes or in heavy, heavy rain cells that move through. Wednesday evening and night, all areas uh, will have precipitation. And then Thursday will be mainly in the evening and focused in San Diego County. Uh, this is the latest alert map, so you can go to this link here and see, uh, for example, the winter storm warning is in effect, or you can overlay the latest radar image. The grand total over the next week is shown here. Three different storms, uh, but they will add up. So very beneficial rainfall of up around three or four inches in our mountains and for our coastal areas, it looks like anywhere from an inch to as much as two inches. Now again, this is three different storms and those storms are occurring Wednesday night through Thursday night, again, Monday and then Wednesday of next week. The total for storm number one is shown here. Not much change here. We've lowered some numbers for Northern Orange County and a little more concentration over San Diego County. That is because Atmospheric River 2 mostly goes over that area Thursday night. Uh, low chance for flash flooding. So it's a broad brush area. There's not no threat. There could be some isolated cells that produce excessive rainfall. For the most part, very low threat. The burn scars we are monitoring, they're going to be helped by the snow above 5,000 feet. So snow on burn scar is good, even when it melts. Uh, the lower elevations from 4,000 feet and below are still susceptible to the rain coming in. The wind will be strong in our mountain passes and deserts, as shown here. Really windy in those areas, gust 50, 60 miles per hour. Elsewhere, um, windy, relatively speaking, you know, gust 25 to 35 for our metro urban areas. 
The snowfall will be one of the bigger stories. Uh, certainly our biggest snow of the year, or at least equal to our biggest snow of the year. Our mountain communities uh, getting up between 6 to 12 inches of snow. And a little bit higher in our ski resort levels, which is seven to 8,000 feet. Really cold uh, Friday morning, and that's why the snow levels will be so low. That's why we'll even see some snow at Julian. Maybe even some wet flakes over the Cajon Pass. Uh, temperatures really plummet with the core of the storm Thursday night and Friday morning. This is an atmospheric river map. Uh, we are dealing with a widespread weak atmospheric river Wednesday night. Uh, and then another one comes in late Thursday, as shown here. Um, th that one is more focused over San Diego County along the Mexico border. This is the weather pattern with the main Pacific upper level storm, upper level low pressure coming through uh, Thursday. Uh, it'll be right over us on Thursday and then exit on Friday. Now for Monday and Tuesday, that's the next storm. It's approaching us late Sunday. It looks like it's gonna swing through Monday and Monday night. Now for storm number three, uh, a fast moving jet stream, the black line across Southern California, that is the storm track. Uh, so that storm looks like it arrives sometime on Wednesday and could linger into Thursday of next week. We are looking at active weather pattern with storm uh, number three. So much below normal probability for temperature and much above probability for precipitation. Uh, that could be two storms, uh, the one that occurs early next week and the one middle next week. Do we remain active uh, with the weather for mid-March? It does look like it, um, though it's uncertain exactly where the storm track will line up in the middle of March, but we could see additional storms as indicated here uh, in this pattern change. The atmospheric rivers are moving through one now, uh, one clips us on Thursday, another one for early next week, and then mid next week is shown here. Uh, and those will be moving across our latitude where the star is indicated on the map. Resource links for you. Uh, I do want to point out the one at the top. That is a new URL, so that is a new link for monitoring the weather, such as the rain and wind, and for displaying the latest weather alerts. All right, everyone. Uh, enjoy the mostly beneficial rain. Um, still, our highways will be slick and expect deep winter conditions in our mountain areas where chains are likely going to be required. Stay safe.